Mules. Mules, yeah. You know, even though we're small, we get the senior pilots. Because when it's a passenger vessel, they want the most experienced pilots. Because of course, people, you know. They call them sorties, at least in the ships and groups. So when that group from the Caribbean side starts clearing out of here, that's when we're going to see all the little pilot boats coming and going and getting to the ships and we'll get all the pilots. Tell me about where we are and what you see. Well, that's Panama City. Panama City, Panama, outside the entrance of the Panama Canal. Late March 2013. going to drive through, through past Panama City. The Panama Canal. And where on the ship are we right now? The bridge. Hi, Captain. I'm here with the chief mate Andrew Cook and he and Captain David Sinclair will be helping guide our boat through the Panama Canal but you'll also be turning it over to one of the Panama Canal's own pilots who will come aboard the ship, is that right? We will have a pilot come on board who he will be on the bridge. He will give us um, direction to navigate and uh, help coordinate timings with other vessels, help coordinate movements of the locomotives. Um, but the pilot won't ever be at the wheel. It'll be, you know, the captain, me, the chief mate, and the second mate at the wheel. But they have tug assists for the larger vessels. We don't use tugs. Um, and then the locomotives that you'll see, those are going to hook up to us. And they hook up to all the vessels that go through and they kind of help the vessels along. Okay, is the mule going to actually pull us or we'll be using the engine? They'll hold us in the middle and we'll use our engines. We'll just be bumping ahead with our engines. And then on either side, at either quarter, there's, there's you know two on the bow, two on the stern and they'll kind of steady us with these cables that they attach to the ship. We definitely have plenty to do to get ready for the Panama Canal. So. I think we'll be going through the Panama Canal at night, right? Or, or yeah, through the, the first two locks. 
what they've done today is they just sent us an updated schedule of uh, 6.30 to be in the first lock chamber. We'll have kind of the ap late afternoon, evening time to go into the canal. And then it'll be dark as well by the time we finish, um, by the time we finish the entire set of locks. The locks and dams are lit from above because they operate 24 hours a day. So when we go through the second set of locks at probably more like 9.30 tonight, it will be after dark, but I'll still be on the deck of the ship trying to get some footage for you guys to check out what we see tonight in the Panama Canal. The doors of the lock have been closed and the water is flowing in to raise our boat up to another level. It can raise our boat as much as seven stories. We are in the Miraflores locks of the Panama Canal. More water is coming into this set of locks to raise our boat even further as we stair step our way into the center of Panama and Central America as we cross the North American continent from the Pacific Ocean to the Caribbean Sea, part of the greater Atlantic Ocean. of locks on our journey through the Panama Canal. We're now approaching this beautiful 
a large bridge for cars to pass over the canal. That was the crew from the Panama Canal Administration disembarking from our ship after they've helped us go through two sets of locks. Thanks guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Picture above what them. Was it like? They had to jump off the side, kind of, it's like near where we get on the zodiacs. But it wasn't as easy as getting on the zodiac because they kind of had to jump. What's happening is we are about to go through another block in the canal. The Panama. Okay, this is the, I think it's Gutan. Yeah, Gutan or something. It starts with a G. Let's Anyways, check it out. Let's From... check it out. It's a hand for the carrier ground. We're going to be lowering 85 feet down. We've got two in lots. Good scene. Get, get over the edge of it. Actually, there's ten. Ten. Ten workers? Oh, because we found more mules on the left, didn't we? There's actually fourteen. On the left. All together. Oh, counting the ones on the right? Oh, I see more robot guys on the right. every day with all kinds of ships, most of which are not passenger ships like ours. Most of them are big cargo ships, but the same guys, they go from boat to boat all day long, guys and this woman.
than what we have it right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, the question, the answer would be, they try to reduce any possible accidents. So it's better to go slowly and secure than fast and risky. That will be your answer. You see, for example, they're, the other locomotive and the ship in front, they are, always a cable tension but they are in constant communication to what the pilot will say on board whatever thing he commands is what they will be doing and they will acknowledge the command by ringing the bell hmm, that's what the bell sound we heard earlier was um, well this one seems to be more or less like a panamax that will have 108 uh, 106 feet of, of, of beam so that means that they are passing with two feet of clearance on each side. So for a ship that is that big, if you move it fast, the wave that you create might probably throw you to the side of the wall and you might scratch the hole or the ship with the wall. So that's why it's better to take it very slowly. Good question. Good answer.
Panama Canal. They're an employee of the Panama Canal Administration. Crosses across the top of the locked door. The walkway railings open up and lift up at the top of the doors when they close so that people can cross. And there's an observation tower where many tourists are watching. Here's the flag of Panama flying on the side of the canal and the flag of the United States of America flying aboard our ship. Now that we have passed through into the third chamber of this lock, the doors behind us will close so the water can be lowered again. Look at this amazing feat of engineering. These massive water doors being closed. so clear the history that was here the tons of earth and mountains that were moved while men they died and wives they cried they still had that old goal inside the sweat and blood they kept on I think we're down at sea level now. Now we're passing the doors that are open to let us out on this side past the third chamber of Gatun Locks. locomotives that help guide us through the Panama Canal. Their turnaround and exchange facility is here. As we came out through
through the Gatun locks. There's my sister Robin. There's my dad taking pictures. Panama Canal is open and operating 24 hours a day. There are the doors behind this closing already so they can fill that chamber back up to the height of the water level of the boat that's behind us. Then they can open the doors behind that and let that boat into that chamber and then lower it down to sea level as they've done with us. Lion ship with Limblad Expeditions. This is the gold reporting. Signing off.